what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back i don't know if i'm gonna go back on hiatus or not but we are here with some reactions today um if you don't know and you didn't see my community post or you didn't see my video that i made about what's going on in the states um even some places around the world are taking a stand with us um about the killing of george floyd and you know it has affected me in in a different kind of way this time around like we're we're tired we're fed up you know but also i am fearful of what's going to happen if this time around this guy does not get prosecuted um to the full extent of the law for this situation, this murder, this killing, right? So that's why I've been on hiatus, not really uploading, but decided to do some uploads today, do some reactions today, just to kind of get my mind off of it because I realized I was dwelling on it too much. Um, so I don't want to be too down, you know, um, because... You know, there's so many things going on with this situation right now. But in any case, we're here to watch The Walking Dead. So we got Negan, Meath, and Judith, which I never wanted to see, but it did happen. I know Rick is going to be very pissed when he get back um, about what Carl did. He caused all of this. And it's everybody kind of doing their own thing right now, which is I don't like to see that. You know, Maggie and Sasha is at the hilltop. We all know Gregory is a bitch. So, yeah. So, let's go watch these episodes and then join me right back here for the review. Alright, so here we go, man. Season 7, episode 8 through 10. Right? 8 through 10. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Wow, man, how I, I don't understand, you know, I, you know what? I'm not going to try to understand why y'all don't like season seven or some of y'all, not all of y'all, but some of y'all that that said it in the comment section. I'm not even going to try to understand that because, um, you know, this is my personal opinion of me watching the show. I'm every single minute of this season seven has been excellent so far. You know, excellent. I mean, it's got to be up. It's up there as one of the best seasons so far, in my opinion. You know, heard that some people didn't like the Tara episode because, but I'm like, yeah, she's not a, you know, a beloved character. I can get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's not a character that a lot of people like. I get it. You know, I don't... She's not high up on my list either, but I think that was a very good episode because it plays into a lot of stuff that happened later after that episode. You know, we still don't know where... I don't even know. I don't even remember the dude that was with her. Or, you know, the black dude. I don't, I don't know. I don't think he's dead. He definitely left in the in the trailer they had. So, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But to say that season 7 and 8 is I don't think I don't think season 7 is slow either. I don't think it's slow. I think they're taking their time building up, building up. I don't know. There's still this sense within me too about the season where I think they're doing all of this to to get another L. But I don't want that. Like, I'm rooting for them because I want to see them overcome this obstacle. You know, uh, maybe they'll do enough damage that Negan goes into hiding, maybe. You know, I'm hoping for the best. But I'm still, there's this, this, there's this crazy feeling that they're probably going to take another L. I don't want that to happen because it's going to make things worse. You know, maybe we're going to lose a, a lot of characters that I don't want to lose. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. 
What do I think of Daryl not telling Carol? I'm not in agreement with that. But let's see where things lead. I'm hoping that they're not trying to write Carol's um, off the show. I'm hoping that's not the case. I want her to rejoin the fight. I think some way, somehow, Carol is going to find out about what happened. Whether she's going to be mad at Daryl or whatever the situation is. Like, I get why Daryl didn't tell her, but I'm not in agreement with it. I need I need my baby back. I need my baby back. Carol's my baby. I need her back in the fight. She is... It's Rick and Carol when it comes on to savagery. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's Rick and her. Like, she don't play no games. Even though I feel like she killed some people that you know, wasn't ready, you get what I'm saying, like, it wasn't like she had to, but, you know, Rick has done that too, you know, um, they're still my favorite characters in the show, and I want to see them working together, you know what I'm saying, I get what Carol is going through, I do, you know, I'm, that scene almost killed me, bro, like, to see her start to break down before she even heard the news, but I think she felt at ease. But as I said, I think she's going to find out, man. I really do feel like she's going to find out. Um, This new faction that they found that captured Gabriel. I didn't believe that Gabriel just ran away. I thought there was some purpose to what he was doing. I never gave up hope on him. It didn't seem like he got attacked in the pantry so I, it didn't seem like it maybe the crash that we heard before they showed him leaving right Bef I, I guess they didn't show the person that that the person that was there if they were there but then again how the hell did they get in that's the other thing that out how did the person get in to get into the pantry in the first place that's another thing too uh, maybe they stowed away on the truck when they when Rick them was heading back. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. In 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 a certain way, that's a bit of a plot hole, but it's nothing to really complain about. You know what I'm saying? It's a bit of a plot hole because it wasn't clear that he got attacked. We we heard a crash. I thought it was just a crash of him just taking the stuff off and you know clearing out and getting all of these stuff that we saw him took. But I know he got attacked. You know, didn't seem like it was an attack. So, but yes, we also um, got to talk about the death of Spencer. He was a bitch from the beginning to the end. Um, never liked his character. Um, was sad to see how he went out, but he kind of put himself in that place. Let me tell y'all something about bullshitting somebody who's real. Okay. Don't bullshit a person who can read people, read the room, know how to humble people with violence for that matter. Why would you even risk that? You of all people trying to cozy up to, 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 to Negan. I was sitting there wondering, okay, let's see how this plays out because I didn't feel like it was going to go anywhere. The whole conversation was going on and I was like, Negan is just picking this dude apart, just figuring him out by the way how he answers things, by the way how he talks about the person who's leading him. Let me tell you something, man. Real recognize real. If real can humble other real, you get what I'm saying? I don't know why you think he's going to have any type of respect for you. He has more respect for Rick because at least Rick, you know what I'm saying? He knows Rick hates his guts. Regardless of how Rick may act, whether he falls in line or not, he knows for a fact Rick hates him. But he's going to do what he has to do to protect his people. And that's what he's using against Rick to keep him in line. You, on the other hand, is a bitch from Jump. You wasn't even there. You didn't get to see shit. You're just bitching about everything. Right? And now you expect they're going to make you the leader over everybody else? As a matter of fact, he'll probably make Carl the leader before he makes you the leader, Spencer. But, you know, 
I guess you did have guts. <laughs> you know, but anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. That's my review for these episodes, three episodes, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent. Brilliantly written. Well done from the kingdom scenes to the, to, you know what I'm saying? Everything was just well done. I had no problems. I would give all three episodes 10 out of 10. Um, definitely, man. And that's what I'm saying. Like this, this show really gets me my emotions sometimes. And I know, you know, you guys have said because I'm binging it, I might have a different opinion. Um, but you're binging it with me too. That's what I'm saying. Like you guys are binging it with me too. Give it a second chance and see if you like it better. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I have to say for that. But in any case, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Always. I always appreciate you guys coming through, showing love. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're new, whether you're old, from my started back in season one, man, I really do appreciate y'all. And I can't stop saying that because I really do. You get what I'm saying? I really, really do. And I want you guys to know that, you know, so just in case something happens to your boy, you at least know that this young man here appreciated y'all for showing up and watching my videos. I really do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I've talked about this a little bit, you know, with the civil unrest that's going on. I know I'm tacking this on at the end because I want you guys to be aware of this situation that's going on. It is getting more and more. It's getting bad. You get what I'm saying? We, we, we're having peaceful protests and there's people out here rioting. There's people out here looting. It's, and it's going on all over the country. Okay? So stay safe. If you're living in America, stay safe. I know people are protesting in other countries too. And in solidarity, in solidarity with us over here. I really do appreciate y'all. I know some people... You know, when we say black lives matter, people jump up and they say all lives matter, which is not, um, we're not saying that, you know, that all lives don't matter. We're just trying to say that black lives matters too. You get what I'm saying? This is, this is a problem that we're having now. You get what I'm trying to say? So you, that's a protest against our protests as black people. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like if I should give you guys an example of, you know, what we're trying to say through that movement. I know there's it's not every faction of Black Lives Matter that really out there doing the right thing. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, but I'm telling you the original, the original reason for the movement, you know, is basically what we're trying to say is that basically, you know, somebody can, if, if, if somebody is in danger right now, right? If somebody is in danger, you know, I, I'll put it like this. I know this might, might be a, 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 um, a weird analogy or, a, um, too harsh of a, um, of an example, right? But this is it. This is what we're saying, right? If you see a kid um, drowning, right? You see a child drowning. I go to save that child. Somebody else can always come along and be like, all children matter. You know, this one just happens to be drowning right now. You get what I'm saying? You know, all lives do matter. Why I, why am I not saving all of them? You get what I'm saying? But I'm here right now. The This one here is drowning. That's what we're trying to say. We're saying that there's a problem. There's an issue with black people getting killed by police officers. I'm not saying that white people don't get killed by police officers that's not what we're saying we're saying that black people are getting killed by officers this is an issue <laughs> let's deal with the issue that's going on let's deal with the issue you guys have seen the history of how many of the how many black lives are being murdered in front of camera and these cops are getting off they're getting off 
the most that's going to have that 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 has been happening in the past is you know these these cops you know the most that is happening is that they're getting fired that's it that's it i mean the ones that you can re remember and there's plenty of them that are there that didn't make big news but they happened you get what i'm saying this is a problem we're tired we're fed up and as i said i'm very scared of what's happening i'm very scared because i i'm telling you guys if this man gets off if he gets off if he beats these charges <laughs> it's gonna be worse than it is now that's all i'm gonna say but anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in like the video, comment, subscribe if you're new. I'm out of here, man. Peace.